What is up there, Reject Nation? Greg and John here today. We're going to watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine, episode nine. Hey, hey. Nine, nine, nine. Wait till we get to episode 99. Guys, at the moment, only two episodes are partially blocked, so we're doing good. <laughs> we're doing we're good. Hey, plus. <laughs> we're making progress. And in a couple weeks from now, those episodes will be back unblocked. It'll be amazing. If you enjoy our video, hit the like button, subscribe, and click that bell if you wanna as well. As always, full length watch alongs where you sync up with the time code for B99 or over at our Patreon page. And over there, we cover a whole bunch of shows with the same tier. You get the option for reaction highlights and watch alongs included. And I just really wanna watch this. It's been, uh, you would not believe the, the, the stupidest struggles I've been doing dealing with. They're not even like mental emotions. It's, it's, it's all car related. <laughs> and they've taken so much time <laughs> that I could just use a good laugh today. So I'm very much looking forward to this. And as always, thank you to Pratham Jindal for editing these highlights down for us. You rock, buddy. Love you. You rock, you rock, you rock. A virus got on the server and sent all of us an email with everyone's search histories. Check this out. Sergeant Jeffords searched the internet for undiscovered muscle. I was working out and saw a muscle in my shoulder I'd never seen before. I thought it might have been a scientific discovery. <laughs> you searched for cheapest date possible. And I wear that search like a badge of honor. So, ready for dinner? Here we go. Oh. Would you like something sweet or maybe savory? Apple pie and I'm stuck. I took a, Olivia to McDonald's on our first date. Dude, what did you get though? When I ate meat? Yeah. I got a lot more than you want to eat on a first date. <laughs> I told her, you need to go home. <laughs> I told her, you need to pass those fries. <laughs> no. I can't believe Sal's is gone. This place is an institution. It's the best pizza in the neighborhood. Eighth best. <laughs> oh no. Heads up, fire marshal. Oh good. <laughs> they do not get along with anyone. Pat and ah. Oswald! <laughs> <laughs> of course. What are you doing here, you Nimrod? Uh, there was a fire. Big question is, what are you doing here? What did somebody call in a missing donut? Actually, someone reported they couldn't find your head, but we found it. It was up your butt. You're a fireman, you should know how to treat that burn. Yo. Oh, nice. It's too bad we all can't be as awesome as New York's finest. Which, by the way, sounds like my mom describing her dishware. Which, and, and she's dead, so let's tread lightly on the response. That's not fair. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> Why did you do a search for magic themed singles night? My last four dates were really boring, so I thought I'd mix things up. Why are you responsible? Ooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> no. Ta-da. Uh, uh. Why were you looking for real estate in Ropesburg, New Jersey? Ropesburg PD offered me a job as their new police captain. No. I turned it down. Oh. Okay. You. Oh. Captain. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, golly. Super cool. Fire Marshal Boone is incapable of conducting a crime investigation. All fire marshals are doofuses, but Boone is King Doofus of Doofus Island. Gasoline. I'm pretty sure that's water. Only one way to tell. <laughs> there were more ways to tell. <laughs> Here's the mope who hacked our computer system. His mother turned him in. His name is Corey Park. Why'd you target us with your computer virus, Corey? I don't know, I was bored and it was easy to break into a weak ass system. If it's so easy for this gentleman to break into our system, we may need to hire a new IT director. Why don't you and Gina get together on that? I doubt I'll need Gina's help. I'm sure she's busy anyway. She knows all the hackers, man. <laughs> they don't be hacking into my stuff. <laughs> Analog hack. Boone reconsidered. He wants you to take a look at the files. All right, fine. I'll... <laughs> it's not a file, bro. It's a donut because you're cops. <sighs> all right, I don't care if it's not our jurisdiction. We're solving this. It's good to see you, Sal. I'm so sorry about the fire. Yeah. I can't believe it's gone, Jakey. All of it. The fire department's been asking a lot of questions. They think I torched my own place. Can you think of anybody who might have done it? I can think of 10 pizzerias that want me out of the game. That jerk Mario comes to mind. Rising fast, he might have wanted to move up the ladder. Of one foodie weirdo's personal pizza email blast? Yeah. <laughs> Weird, they just offered you captain without considering anyone else? Like Scully. Because he's got so many years on the force. I, guess I think I put my gun in one of these boxes and I don't know which. <laughs> oh. 
Mario is pining to work. Good consistency on the crust, but the cheese to sauce ratio is a travesty. If you have to spit. In a word, yes. Amateurs go tasting, they fill up, and they lose their palate by the third slice. That pizza looks amazing. I know. You can watch this on an empty stomach. Meanwhile, over at Sal's, it was a bunch of smiling faces and happy stomachs. One night, you snapped a little gasoline, a little match, and poof, no more Sal's. How right am I? The night of the fire is at my father's funeral. <laughs> Gino, this pizza is much better than last time. You've always ranked dead last in structural integrity and sauce. But way more importantly, <laughs> and it turns out you did six months in prison for a B and E. The night of the fire, I was at the prison giving a motivational speech on how parolees can turn their lives around. Well, it's good to hear that the system works, and you are welcome. <laughs> this is a dead end. We got to check out that crime scene. Can't. Fireman locked it down. Grab your spit bucket, boil. Those hose monkeys can't stop us. You must be Simon Walker. Have a seat. Query, what's your favorite Jay Z song? I'm sorry? Favorite Jay-Z song? <laughs> She's kidding. <laughs> no, I'm not. What is it? I don't know. I'm sorry about her. But Where? seriously, what's your favorite Jay-Z song? I don't know. Big Pippin? It's Big Pippin. Mm, wrong answer, friend. I'm really nervous. There's no need to be nervous. Yeah, we're all just calm, cool, collected. <laughs> 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 so you have everything taken from the garden apartment. TV, computer, stereo. Uh-oh, spelling error. It's not very Captain-y. Jeez. I just think that you meant stereo, not stereo. Did you mean stereo, oh. Captain? That's it, get in my car, now. And if you say another word, I promise you, you will regret it. Aye, aye, Ooh. ow, okay. <laughs> uh, I'll go, I'm going. <sighs> These firemen are not moving. We gotta distract them. Tell them your little boy's cat got stuck up in a tree. I need more backstory. First off, can it be my daughter's <laughs> cat? Okay, but if you get made because of that, it's on you. Oh, fine. Short hair calico, the son is adopted, your wife is in a coma. Oh, that's brutal. I like it. <laughs> Make sure to mention all that. Guys, I, I really need your help. My little boy Brian, my angel, I bought him a short haired calico after my wife fell into a coma. Motorcycle crash. Kind of looks like you, handsome guy. Handsome guy. <sighs> Brian was adopted, <laughs> so he has abandonment issues. Just struck out a T-ball last week. Everyone called him Crying Brian. Oh no, Crying Brian. Hello, Peralta. Ah! What's going on, sir? What's going on is that Peralta has screwed with me for the last time, and now he's gonna pay. Oh, you know what, Boone? Anytime you wanna give me- Whoa, whoa! Oh, that is a- Oh no. 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 <laughs> I'll tell my guys what to do. Don't tell me what to tell people what to do. Well, make me not do it, tough guy. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no, no. no. <laughs> oh no. I apologize, Marshal Boone, for Detective Peralta's actions. I'm a reasonable man, so I'm just gonna say this. Fire Peralta immediately. He started a fight, he overstepped his jurisdiction, and he's obsessed with this pizza place. Now, what I'm obsessed with is how you're bungling this investigation. Oh, and they should write a song about it called Welcome to the Bungle. <laughs> Why is it special? Because it's the best pizza in the neighborhood. Well, according to Charles' email blast, it's actually number eight. Uh -huh. Captain reads my blast. Uh -huh. Of course, it's the only one that measures mouthfeel. What, are you kidding right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> When I was a kid, I was shortstop on my Little League team. Oh my God. It's the truth, it's not a brag. <laughs> my dad was the coach, and after every game, he would take the team to Sal's. Halfway through our last season, he left me and my mom, and the worst part about it was that I couldn't go with him to Sal's anymore. Well, that's certainly not what I expected this to be about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry that happened to you. I mean, what kind of dad just, just leaves his son like that? <laughs> you and I. We're gonna solve this thing together, okay? Okay. Okay. First, let's hug like men. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, you get in here. <laughs> Ms. Diaz, are you here to reconsider? We bought the deputy's bolts like you suggested. Hi, Sergeant. No, I'm still not interested. But this is Detective Santiago. She's one of our top detectives, and she really wants the job. I, uh, yes. Uh, can I ask what happened to the last captain? He quit to start a carpet cleaning business because that was better than being captain here because this is the most boring place on earth. <laughs> she doesn't mean that. It's okay. 
It's true. Gotta be known for something. Uh, oh. I know that guy's name's Andy Forster. <laughs> Who do you think I should hire? Well, the interviews got a little off track. But I'd go with Simon Walker. Years. That guy? No way. He yelled at me when I asked him the same question about Jay-Z three times in a row. Why does that matter? Because whoever takes this IT job is going to have to deal with Hitchcock asking how to log into his email every single day forever. What about this guy? No, he was scared of everything. Do you remember Rose's reaction last time the printer jammed? <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay for that. We already have the perfect candidate already. Savant. That punk who hacked us? Turn your greatest weakness into your greatest strength. Savant tore our walls down, but he can build them back up. His mom ratted him out, so I bet he'd love a steady paycheck to get out of that snitch's house. Got a mic right now? <laughs> well done, Gina. Good Gina. Hire the criminal. <laughs> Any reason you can think of one of your guys would have forced this cabinet open while they were putting the fire out? No, no, I can't. Looks like it was jimmied open with a crowbar. Oh my god. I know who did it. Come on. Kid Cody did it again. Kid Cody's back. <laughs> Do you want to take the pole down? Oh my god, yes. Oh. Let justice be served. Did you get it? Uh-huh. My turn? Nope, no time. Oh. We know you burned down Sal's, Gino. You hated him because his pizza was better than yours. That's not true. Gino's pizza's always been the tastiest. Wrong. According to Boyle's email blast, it was downright lousy before. That's what made it so suspicious when he suddenly loved it. The crust was charred, the cheese was stringy and flavorless, but the sauce, oh my god, and the sauce. <laughs> and that was your mistake. You didn't just burn Sal's down, you also stole his secret sauce recipe. Here's a picture of the cabinet in which said recipe was held. Busted open with a crowbar. Your so-called motivational speech down at the prison ended at 5 p.m., leaving you plenty of time to get back to Sal's and burn it to the ground. So I guess there's only one thing left to say. Gino, Gino Bianucci, Bianucci, you're under, under arrest. Do you <coughs> mind? <laughs> yes. Collar, if um, I'm not wrong. Yeah, yeah but I like... actually did all the work. Yeah, see, I knew so you would you, you know what, fine. Gino Bianucci, you're under arrest for arson. Yes! That's Real first. mature, very nice. mature. Off we go. <laughs> You never would have taken that job, so why'd you even care that they offered it to me? I can't help it. I'm competitive. I have seven brothers, and I was the only girl. I always had to fight for a place at the table. Well, you're not the only girl at the table anymore. We work in a police force full of dudes. We gotta have each other's backs, okay? You saying you have my back? Yeah, I got your back. Don't smile, I'm still mad at you. <laughs> I thought we were having a moment. Moment's over, shut up. <laughs> yeah, women! Bonding, all right. <laughs> All I have to do is put my thumb on that thing and it opens up all my electric mails. <laughs> you seem real smart, man. Oh, look, and you play with toys. You're part of the 9-9 nine -nine now. We look after each other. If Savant was to do anything to harm this precinct, would I destroy him? <laughs> Answer uncertain. Try again. <laughs> I see we are once again at war with the fire department. You are not to retaliate. Oh, I wouldn't dream of it, sir. In fact, I'm gonna send over a little peace offering. Some of Sal's famous sauce. Now boil! Fire! 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 Ah! Uh, Run, uh, Charles! Uh, <laughs> I, I, I want a, uh, just a big old bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to scoop it into my mouth. How'd they get the pool around the pole? Oh my god. Well, I get yeah. I guess they had to have, like, cut a hole in it and then cauterized the hole. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> After the fact or something. Very impressive. Yeah. They do it so quietly. I don't know. They didn't wake so anybody. <laughs> they got the sauce. In yeah. The pool. They have to carry the sauce in like in little increments to fill it up, or did they have just like a big old sauce drum? I think they would have been detected. Yeah, yeah. That fire department doesn't have very good security, but then again, that's not their job. So maybe we could just crash a fire station. 
Let's talk about Let's it. Let's do it. Kick it off, John. I was delighted once more by Brooklyn Nine-Nine. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, this feels like a very sort of natural comedic trope to pull into this setup. If you got comedic cops, there's got to be some kind of rivalry agency or, you know, other organization for them to be at odds with. So it makes perfect sense that it would be New York's bravest. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was really funny. I thought uh, Patton Oswalt is like the perfect character actor to bring in for that. I'm kind of surprised there wasn't more Joey Diaz just because, you know, he does comedy and stuff too. But uh, oh, yeah, just... he's never been controversial ever either. Oh, no, that's right. That's right. Now is the time to, to, to wish for more Joey Diaz. Yeah. In your... There was a clip going around on Joey Diaz on Joe Rogan's show from years ago. Oh? Uh, the, just this year, this clip started going around. Oh, good. What, what was in the clip? Well, it is just too kind to mention oh, yeah. in said it sounds like, video. It sounds like the kind of thing that too would... Too inviting yeah. for all... Just too all, inclusive, oh, too yeah. tolerant, <laughs> too woke. <laughs> this, this is no woke. This is a woke-free zone. Good stuff. But Joey Diaz, yeah. Yeah, it's true. He doesn't do that. Everything. He's, he doesn't do anything funny in here either. Literally every other pizza chef they talk to has at least one more scene or moment than he did. Like, yeah. he's just in the office, you know, giving his little deposition. I like Pat and Oswald. Uh, he, I'm very charmed by him. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I've re I only recently started listening to his stand-up comedy. Because um, I've seen him, like, a lot in shows and movies and interviews surprisingly but never really his comedy but i've heard some of his actual stand-up comedy lately and he's a really funny guy i could see why he's so well known mm. so yeah having him in here and his chemistry bouncing off of andy sandberg is really good uh i love the chemistry between um rosa and and uh, amy yeah. <laughs> yeah i love their chemistry a lot and while I did enjoy this episode, I did think it was actually the weaker one out of all the ones we've seen so far. Yeah. I, was, I didn't find it to be uh, as funny as it the It wasn't other as was. hysterical. Yeah, while there, it had its moments that were really funny, like yeah. for sure. That it's like, it, it's a comedy show, all right? Yeah. My, my favorite show of all time is Friends, and I'm not like in stitches every freaking episode, you yeah, know? Yeah, I can't say that about every comedy, but you know. going to be better than others. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, you can't expect them to knock it out of the park 100% every time or be as endeared in a heartfelt way every time or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, it's just kind of been on this, like, this up ramp for all all the episodes it's just been better 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 yeah, and then yeah. this one was like oh, okay this one didn't go better it's not bad it's still really good uh it just didn't uh, hit me in the laughs as hard didn't as i, I would have liked it. but there were still some really funny moments yeah there, i'm not sure what it is that's kind of it's kind of weird to like criticize comedy about that because I'm also so forgiving when I know it's a sitcom that has 24 episodes they gotta be funny all the time yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, and yeah it's one of those things where I feel like as long as it doesn't dip out of being still enjoyable and oh, yeah. fun spending Very time with stuff. your ensemble yeah it's like this one wasn't one of the better ones that we've seen thus far however yeah it was like still well, there's only like 300 more episodes to go I feel like I'm damning, <laughs> with, damning it with faint praise by saying like, it's perfectly passable because like yeah it was fun still like I really did like yeah having Amy and Rosa paired off and you know like there could have been more substance to that but I just thought their interplay that that made way for was a lot of fun to watch and especially to the interplay I always love it but you know between uh, Boyle and Peralta especially we, like when you get an ensemble yeah. like this where you know a lot of the time Boyle is the butt of a joke so when you get a character like that into a situation where it's like oh but there's a part of this that's exactly their element and so like him with all the pizza and stuff like that and oh, the I recurring love, love hold <laughs> it's like He's the only one who has He's reading the newsletter. He's <laughs> the only one that has mouthfeel. Yeah, it's like that. Like that, That's I think, really was my favorite moment, yeah. recurring joke. And yeah, the whole newsletter thing, like, just becoming more of a big deal than at least we would think it is because we're with sort of Andy Samberg's POV for a lot of these. I actually thought the cleverest moment out of this whole thing was seeing that Gina had really sharp intentions mm -hmm. for why she was handling the... 
um because it's like they're interviewing people but she handles it kind of like an interrogation yeah uh and so i really loved the reveal there of why she was doing that like she didn't have sarcastic reasoning to do it she had sincere meaning behind each one of the annoying choices that she was putting on so because like the the montage of that was like kind of funny um you know where it's going I didn't see the reveal coming of yeah, why that, she's yeah. doing what she's doing. Yeah, like absolutely. you know where it's going that they're gonna want to hire the IT the kid, guy. Yeah, like that. That one was obvious. All these dudes are gonna be dweebs who aren't right for the job. Yeah. 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 Uh, but um, I, I would actually really love the whole thing with like Holt being able to see that Gene is valuable. You guys just don't see. It. You don't give her the credit. Yeah. And then come to find out, like, ah, oh, yeah, she has some good reasoning behind why. Yeah. So that to me was the the cleverest moment of them all. But you still get character nuances here, and, and I appreciate whenever you get a little bit of that, more of Santiago finding about her brothers, and then her competitiveness Peralta having this history with his father and like a very core memory associated with his pizza place that's how I feel about if my Denny's burned down mm. or if my pizza guy burned yeah. down it's a place I go to pizza guy uh, used to go there every Sunday with my family after church and it's near right near where John lives and uh, literally it's like well it's just it's where John come stalk me <laughs> it's, uh, I used to go there uh, every Sunday and um, there was a few years I didn't go but now because now it's like a 15-20 minute drive for me to go mm. uh, whereas before it was like 5 minutes <laughs> so and that makes a big difference in LA because you've always got veterans <laughs> three times as long I'm not going out that <laughs> far three times as long because you never know like driving my pick up that parking lot might be busy I don't want to deal with that <laughs> Now you need your own newsletter of the best pizza it's, places in Tarzan. Yeah. So I, I've got, but recently I went back there. Uh, I started going back a, a couple weeks ago. And the, and the second I went back, I hadn't seen this guy in years. And it was when we were still wearing masks all the time when we had to go out. Oh, and he recognized me. He recognized and I hadn't been there in so long. <laughs> it's so long. Oh, it's yeah. Family. He's family. And he's asking about my family. And then I've been going like every other week again since. So yeah, I, I have like a pizza place that's like a mom and pop pizza place shop so i'm really endeared to that storyline because yeah. i i relate to that on a personal level like i don't have like a chain that i'm my family's married to but uh there is a place called pizza guy where i'm like the owner mike and every time i see him how's your family how's your wife how's your kids you know like we, we're really talking it's, it's like a delicious pizza and i love introducing people to it so yeah if you guys are in california go to studio city valley village and go to pizza guy and yeah. <laughs> it is delicious pack the place they've been around here for 30 years so needless to say i've given all this description to be like i really clicked yeah. with that moment because i imagine a lot of people in new york probably have that considering there's so many like we got a lot out here a lot of mom and pop pizza places as do most places in america but new york especially has a lot of pizza places so i feel like that's a very um you know, probably a, a very sentimental thing for a lot of people who really like live and like have live in New York. You oh know? yeah, um, seems so. like having like a, a lexicon of good and bad pizza is a New York requirement. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna be from that area or or move there. You gotta like refine your pizza palate. <laughs> but I kind of wish they didn't end on their back to being competitive with each other. Yeah. It, w it would be nice to just let that growth solidify or something or, or yeah, not be so forward in that we're going to reset the dynamic now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because yeah. I like the shift in dynamic a lot with them. Yeah, and I could see, and not that this wouldn't happen if they bring that character back and if they got Patton, I have to imagine they will bring that character back at some point. But I feel like if you if you left it in a softer place that could A, still have been funny, and B, yeah, it, like leave the dynamic mm -hmm. open a bit more for not knowing exactly what's going to happen to the dynamics once Patton Oswalt and the firefighters come in, you know. Very true. But I do love that opening joke a lot of uh, of uh, Terry being like, I thought I made it a scientific discovery. <laughs> like, he, like he just <laughs> built, he grew a new muscle. I've discovered that. muscle. Like, <laughs> he's just so buff that you found that he's like, he's so he's strong and buff that he's developing muscle undiscovered groups. muscles. <laughs> I just think that's hilarious. <laughs> if anyone's going to do that, it's going to be him. <laughs> it's such a funny joke. It's yeah. a really funny joke. Uh, all right, guys. Well, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Uh, again, yeah, it's a, a still, that's what I mean, still a really good episode. Uh, leave your thoughts down below, subscribe, click that bell, hit that like button, and hey, let's do a 
John, you wanted to shout out Deontay W. Tongue Punch Fart Box in a, in a box full of clocks. In a box and, full and of Harry clocks. And Harry with mm. um, moxicillin. Moxicillin. Uh, as we flock to the stocks of uh, my, 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 I'm trying not to say uh-huh. Dewey Cox, but I did. No, Dewey I, Cox. <laughs> You know, John C. Riley got top billin. He wasn't the villain, he was a hero. Like Deontay. <laughs> Deontay go? would be the hero of my cop movie. Because think about it. <laughs> they called him Tongue Punch Fart Box. Like, how cool of an enigmatic cop character could he be? He works alone, and his methods are unorthodox. Why? Because once you're caught, he's going to tongue punch you in the fart box instead of taking you to prison. Tongue Punch Fart Box. His methods are unorthodox. Dude, that's part. And then Eminem or somebody can make it the theme song. Yeah. Fart Box! <laughs> But fart box, whatever rhymes with fart box, you know. Yeah, we've come up with nothing that does. Nothing, not at all. <laughs> so yeah, dude, you know, I want you to send me your headshot wearing your best like '70s detective jacket, and uh, you know, really get into character. All right. Thank you, Deontay. Love you've you, provided us with a lot to think about.